And now on to our next segment. We're talking about an ailment that affects so many of us, and that is back pain. Joining me now is Albert Cassiani, mm -hmm. who is <laughs> a physiotherapist with 10 years of experience. Karibu sana to the show. Karibu sana. Thank you for having me. It's good to have you here. Good morning, viewers. Yeah. Um, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too yes. as well. Yes. Now, 80% of the population will actually experience back pain. And that's a huge statistic. Very what are some of the reasons behind the causes of back pain? There are a variety of reasons behind this back pain mm -hmm. because people tend to have jobs that are strenuous. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have poor posture mm -hmm. and poor lifting techniques. Mm -hmm. So these are a variety of <coughs> conditions that you find that people might be having ailments that mm -hmm. people can also have genetically mm. that can really cause this kind of problem. Mm -hmm. Like for example, that's what I see on a daily basis yeah. for the past 10 years. Is it, mostly. so you, what would you say is the larger percentage? Is it posture, um, is it our work, um, it is also, it genetics? It also varies with age sometimes, but mostly it's work related. Work Most related. of the cases that I see, wow. work related, yes. So talk to us about our spine, like, you know, um, how is it structured? Um, the spine is a very, very complex structure. This is the, the basic um, framework of your body. Mm. So you have to take good care of it because you find, let's say, for example, if you're, in a, you're sitting in a bad position, your mm. body can contort to that position, mm. which might not be normal. Mm. And you find that it can bring some spasms or problems that would lead to excessive back pain or you having a bad posture right. in, in the long run causing you pain or discomfort therefore yeah. you will not be productive in your work yeah yes. do you find it very typical in even younger people or is it just mostly older kids? um nowadays i can be honest with the lifestyles that people are living it's common in young people as well mm. yes as young as you as well um, mm. bankers tv presenters very many people mm -hmm. yes so for example, okay, so you've said one of the biggest reasons is work, right? And yes. sitting down. Yes. Sitting. Um, so that's students, people working in offices. Yes, definitely. Um, maybe you can demonstrate for us, like, mm -hmm. what does good posture um, look like? Because to many people, it just feels uncomfortable, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And we end up just yes. <laughs> slouching ourselves. Definitely. Um, I can give a good example. Sure. The way you're seated, that's good posture. Oh. At least you're back is straight, shoulders Yay, level, yes, <laughs> and please keep it up, <laughs> I don't expect you to be one of my clients. <laughs> so yeah. um, you find that um, yeah. depending on one's job or one's um, physical wellness, it also depends on fitness, yeah. because if one is unfit, they tend to, let's say, slouch, uh, or even the seat that you're having, the seat, that's yeah. why you find that in, in banks or people who work at office day jobs, um, mostly should have something called ergonomic chairs. Mm. Chairs that are designed to accommodate them during their job mm -hmm. and it should be comfortable and in line with the spine right. so that one does not strain or lean towards one side yeah. and it's very comfortable. And also what I encourage the, my clients or anyone, always change of position. It's like, mm. for example, when you're lying down in bed, mm. you don't sleep on one side from um, evening till morning, mm -hmm. your body automatically shifts its position. Mm -hmm. So also at work, sometimes it's very important for us to change our position. Change is as good as rest. Stand up, walk around, yes, take a break. stretch a bit, mm -hmm. you know. It, it relieves that kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you find people are under pressure to get or achieve their targets. Mm -hmm. So you kind of shut down and you're like, I have to finish this. Right, to finish and this. you've sat in the same position for a very long time. Hours. And think about it, you're there on your computer, right. doing your stuff, doing your reports. Yeah, I think another thing that I've noticed is with this thing, our yes. phones. Yes, Because sometimes I notice, you know, when you're busy texting and mm -hmm. you're on social media or whatever it is mm -hmm. you're doing, mm -hmm. you're always hunched over, hunched over and then you find your... So how, I mean, for something as simple as a phone, mm -hmm. how would you demonstrate like holding um, it it's up? It's simple. First of all, I'd like one to be in a very comfortable position mm -hmm. and it, it should not be too far away from you. Okay. But one thing also I can advise, it shouldn't be too high. Right. Just a comfortable position that is good for you. You're not slouching too much. You're not... Yeah. And if you have any eye problem, it should be rectified because... When, the eye, when you have an eye problem, you, you can either straining. move the phone closer mm -hmm. or farther away. Mm -hmm. And that has already shifted or adjusted your posture right. to a position that might not be normal. Right. And sometimes you have to try sometimes and keep away if yeah. need be. <laughs> keep away from the phone. <laughs> yeah, if need be. Or take a short break sometimes. Because yeah. most of the people tend to 
nowadays you know it's all about technology social media yes. everyone is on the on, online so you find it's kind of a yeah these days, we're all about digital media. Yes, yes. And probably there's even some viewers right now who are watching from their bed as yes, they're streaming definitely. us online. You can stream us online online on our website. That's on Switch TV Kenya. And, um, you know, so you how, how about like watching movies in bed? That's a very common um, thing to do. Texting late at night in bed, crossing our legs. Is there like, is that good? Is that bad? Mm. I'll start with the aspect of watching movies sometimes. That's something that people do subconsciously. You find that when you're watching a movie, let's say if you're in bed, you're not in a good position. Mm -hmm. You tend to slouch a bit or lean. And you find that this will affect the alignment of your spine. And let's say when the movie is so intriguing, you find that you try and get comfortable. Yes, you might watch the movie and finish it. You might be in that position. But later on, when you turn around or when you get up, mm -hmm. is when you're like, oh, my neck is stiff right. because the body was not in the right position. Yeah. So you find it can cause a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, when it comes to, let's say, crossing your feet, the most important thing is having a position that your weight is balanced. Mm. You know, our bodies are very, very special. Mm -hmm. If we tend to lean towards one side, mm -hmm. our muscles tend to adapt to that position. And mm. our bodies are so plastic to that mm -hmm. position that once they get used to leaning on one side, it becomes a habit. Mm. And before you rectify this pain and discomfort mm. is always part and parcel of yeah. that. Yeah. So I want you to demonstrate two things mm -hmm, for us. Mm -hmm. One would be how to lift heavy things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, when I was growing up, my mom would always tell me, no, 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 be careful of how you, you yes. carry and pick up heavy yes, stuff. Definitely. So maybe we can start with that. Yes. But then you could also um, maybe give us some examples. Feel mm -hmm. free to demonstrate some stretches mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that maybe you would advise we should mm -hmm, be doing mm -hmm. you know, regularly. Very, very good. So, first of all, I'd like to demonstrate on, let's say, okay. lifting techniques. Okay. It's very simple. Let's okay. say, for example, this is if a this heavy load heavy, yeah. and it's on the ground. Mm -hmm. Most of the people would do something like this. Okay, so your this back is, is not, arched now. Yes, this is not too conventional because you'll engage the muscles of the lower back mm -hmm. to lift this load. Mm -hmm. It's quite simple. What I normally advise one is to squat down. Use your knees mm. and let the load get close to you because okay. we also have to put into consideration your center of gravity okay. because if it's something that you're lifting and it's you're like lifting it up like this you're engaging you're like, the lower back yeah. muscles yeah. so yeah. i'd like one to use the knees bring the load closer to your body mm. and you come up with the load for example if it's an infant for the mothers mm. many people tend to lift the kids like this mm. and then they're like oh, Ooh, it's heavy. Hey, oh you know, yeah, you know, it doesn't mean that the kid is too heavy it's right. the technique that yeah. one uses i drag on that one should yeah. squat down let the baby come to you once the kid comes to you get a hold of it and come up but sasa unajua this e could we call it kuchuchuma. kuchuchuma. <laughs> Many of us can't do that. Um, how, how can we start building? Because clearly that's a lot of leg muscle. Yeah? True, that you're, true. you're saying use your legs more rather than your back. True. The strength comes from your legs. Mm -hmm. What are some of the stretches that we could do to um, kind of help assist with that? Mainly what I, can, I normally advise is um, squats are mm -hmm. very important. Not necessarily stretches. Mm -hmm. You can also build up on the knee muscles because this will be the muscle that you'll be using to engage the load. Yeah. So you can build on the knee muscle, simple body weight squats. Body weight, body can you weight demonstrate squats. that? For example, so yeah. simple. Body weight squats involve one, using your body weight. Mm. And you can simply go down mm. and back up. up. Down and back up. You know, rather than using the big weights, let's say right. for example at the gym, people tend to use the load. Yes, if one is that fit, yeah. I don't mind, but sure. you have to use the right techniques, yes. especially when you're working with a professional trainer, sure. someone who knows yeah. the technical stuff, because many people tend to go to the gym and just do what they see yeah. on TV, and they don't follow the right techniques and you find this one can cause a lot of problems for them. so albert we have a question here from latifa who's watching us from mombasa thank you so much latifa for tuning into the show and for the rest of you if you'd like to send in your questions as well the sms line is double two triple nine but latifa is saying i went through a c-section mm -hmm. my lower back pains me sometimes that I feel like I am being pulled down. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear a lot of pregnant women or women who've had children mm -hmm. talk about back pain. I mean, what sort of advice could you give 
Latifa maybe. Okay. Hi Latifa, how are you today? Um, it's very simple when it comes to pregnancy. Mm. When one is expectant, there are those um, physiological changes in a woman. Mm -hmm. You find that there is accommodation of the pregnancy itself and of course there is that change or shift mm -hmm. of the spine. You mm -hmm. find one tends to change the center of gravity and that can cause problems to the back. Right. And for accommodation of the pregnancy, you find that the tummy muscles become very flabby or yeah, soft stretched. to allow mm. accommodation for the baby. Mm -hmm. That one can also affect your back mm -hmm. because there is that kind of shift mm -hmm. in the body. Mm -hmm. So what happens in that situation, of course when she went for that, you find that she, the, the core muscles become weak. Mm. For her to work, to have a strong back, you must have a strong core as well. Mm. Your abs and your back must work together. Right. It acts like a natural body corset. Okay. So she needs to work on her abs as well, her strengthening her core, rather than sometimes te people tend to give you corsets mm. or body cons to mm. help to finish up the, um, the fat or mm -hmm. the flabby muscles, but yeah. not really. We need to actually build on those muscles, the muscle. tighten them so that at least this area of the core works as a unit because you'll find the back muscles are working, mm. but this area is still flabby. Mm. So that's the reason she's feeling like she's being pulled down or discomfort to them. Yeah. Latifa, I hope that helps you out. Thank you again for watching. And again, you can continue sending us your questions on double two triple nine. But um, Alba, just before we wrap up, um, could you talk to us now, yes. specifically ladies, because uh -huh. there's this thing we love, which mm -hmm. is big handbags. Tunabeba kila kitu. Unajua ukitoka nyumba, unataka kutoka ile unajua unenda. I know, I know, and I've seen very many ladies. Do you think that has an effect? Definitely it has an effect because you find once you have something that is too big or heavy, you'll find that you're leaning towards one, one side, side yeah. and that has already affected your balance. Mm -hmm. What I normally advise for ladies, if your dominant hand is your right hand and you tend or love to carry a heavy handbag, it's quite important to be shifting. Oh, interesting. To your left side. Yes, as well. Though okay. The best idea that I, I normally recommend for people is having backpacks but of course backpacks for ladies let's say for example when they're dressed like you it's not too trendy it's not your so <laughs> um i'd recommend changing the bag if it's used on this side shift it to this side trying to get that kind of balance yeah but the best thing i know is a backpack but i don't know if there's any designer who has come with backpacks for maybe you'll start your own line um Hopefully. Alba, thank you so much for it's tuning in and for being here. And thank you to all of you who are watching at home. We really appreciate you. We're going to take a short break. But after that, we're going to continue with our discussion on how you can freshen yourself by detoxing for the brand new year. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce.